Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to put Twitch scenes into OBS. It's really simple and it literally takes two seconds. As I make stream overlay packages myself, I'll be using mine as an example. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. I'll be including enough detail, so if you are completely new to OBS, you'll be able to do this as well and follow along. Okay, so once you have OBS open, you will need to create scenes for your starting soon, your just chatting scene, etc. So I have done that already. I've set up a starting soon, be right back, stream ending, just chatting and a game scene. If you don't know how to create a scene, you just press the plus on the bottom left here and you can name the scene whatever you like. So firstly, we're going to set up the starting scene scene. So under sources, once you've clicked on the scene under sources, you can go to the plus button here and add a media source. We're going to call this starting soon. Once this window is open, you can browse for the file for your starting soon scene. So I'm going to do that now. So I already have this folder and I'm going to go into Twitch scenes click on my starting soon scene and open. Once you've found your starting soon file, you want to make sure you loop it because if it's animation, you're likely wanting it to loop as you've got that scene running. So we press loop, press OK, and here's your starting soon video that it's playing and it's continually looping. We want to resize it to the scene so it fits and that's the starting soon scene setup. It's that simple. So I've gone and set up all three of the animated scenes so they look like this. So this is starting soon, this is be right back, and this is stream ending and they will continually loop until you change the scene. So when we come to set up a static scene it will be a very similar process. So you add go to the little plus down here and you add a image instead and let's call this just chatting and same process you browse and find your still scene here and let's just resize this so it fits the scene so in my stream overlay packages I also offer a webcam overlay which you can put on top of these scenes so if I go into the webcam overlay folder and I will select a webcam overlay for this scene as it's the just chatting scene so you can overlay this over your webcam and that would be the scene complete so I've gone and set up the game scene and we actually need the webcam overlay again. So instead of going through and adding a new source, we can click the plus, add an image, and instead of creating a new one, we can add an existing and we can add the webcam overlay to this scene as well. And we can just resize that to what we need. So this is now the game scene set up. So all you would need to add is your webcam source, your Twitch chat and all the other little bits you want to add to your scenes. But that is the basic setup of a Twitch stream. If you do want to check out my Etsy, I've left a link below and you can have a look. And the specific package I used was the cozy lo-fi animated Twitch scene package. And I'll link that specific one down below as well. If you are new to streaming and you don't want to spend any money on buying a stream overlay, I do make free Twitch assets and upload them to my Discord, so feel free to join my Discord and I've put the link below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like and sub to my channel. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.